praise the lord hallelujah amen and amen my name is caesar i want to welcome you to our youtube channel on this beautiful day we are out here uh on the soccer beach and uh we want to do a video and bless the name of the lord in the name of jesus amen uh Today we are in the book of uh, Acts chapter 7, Acts chapter 7 from verse number 30 all the way to verse number 36. But before we read the word of God, I want to welcome everyone uh, to our channel. Uh, if you're new here, uh, we want to encourage you to subscribe to our channel. Amen. And uh, to everyone who is coming back, I want to say a big thank you. The Lord bless you amen the lord increase you a thousand times your support has been amazing we have reached this far because of you hallelujah amen and uh in acts chapter 7 this is the defense of stephen when he was before the high priest before the high priest and the council of elders because they had accused him saying that jesus was to come and to destroy the temple and all the traditions of Moses. Praise the Lord. Amen. And we are picking up from verse number 30. Glory to God. In verse number 30 says, After the 40 years, after the 40 years had expired, after the 40 years have expired, and our topic today, this morning, is what is your season what season is the lord bringing you bringing you out of what season are you in what season are you stepping into what is your season in acts chapter 7 and verse number 30 the bible says that after after 40 years after 40 years the lord appeared unto Moses you know a season could be a, a time of plenty a time of waiting of difficulty and oppression a time of good times or bad times what is your season if you remember in uh, Genesis chapter 1 and verse 14 the Bible says that God made the heavens sorry in acts chapter uh sorry genesis chapter 1 and verse 14 yeah the creation uh the, the bible says that on the fourth day on the fourth day god said let there be light in the firmament and we we are told that he created the greater light and the lesser light the greater light the sun to govern the day and the lesser light the moon to govern the night and god said in genesis chapter 1 and verse number 14 that these lights the sun and the moon and the stars they shall be for signs and seasons for days and years praise the lord Amen. What is your season? That is our topic today. What is your season? Acts chapter 7 and verse number 30. After the 40 years had passed, God appeared to Moses in the wilderness of Sinai in a burning bush that is in acts chapter 7 and verse number 30 and we are told in verse number 31 this is stephen speaking giving his defense before the sanhedrin before the council of the elders and the high priest in verse number 31 of acts chapter 7 stephen says moses said to himself let me turn and look this great sight 
Let me turn and look what is this great sight. And as he turned, the angel of the Lord spoke to him. The angel of the Lord spoke to him. Through the fire, through the burning bush. And remember that fire is one of the symbols of God. Elijah uh, prayed and God came down with fire. Fire is one of the symbols of God. Amen. And you are told in verse number 31 that Moses turned around to see. And as he approached to see what was happening in the burning bush, the angel of the Lord told him in verse number 32, I am the God. I am the God of your fathers. I am the God of Isaac, Jacob, and your father Abraham. I am the God of your fathers. In the original uh, text of Exodus chapter 3, we are told that God called out to Moses and said, Moses, Moses, I am the God of your fathers. I am the God of your father Abraham, of your father Isaac and Jacob. Praise be to God. Hallelujah. Amen. He introduces himself to, Joseph, to, to, uh, to Moses. What happens in verse number 3? In verse number 33. Ek, uh, Acts chapter 7 and verse number 33. We are now in verse number 33. The Bible says that the angel of the Lord told Moses, Take the sandals off your feet, for where you are standing is holy ground. Exodus chapter, sorry, Acts chapter 7 and verse number 33. Take the sandals off your feet, because where you are standing is holy. Where you are standing is holy. Why are you standing is holy? Why did Moses have to take off the sandals of his feet? Remember in Genesis chapter 3 from verse number 9, we are told that God came into the garden, walking into the garden, walking into the garden to have fellowship with man. God came walking into the garden to have fellowship with man. And we are told that Adam had the footsteps of God walking in the temple, uh, in the garden. Adam had the footsteps of God walking in the garden. And God called out to him, Adam, Adam, where are you? Where are you? Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. Adam, Adam, where are you? He was calling out to man to have fellowship with him. God came walking in the garden in uh, Genesis chapter 3 and verse number 9. In Genesis chapter 3 and verse number 9, God came walking into the garden looking for man to have fellowship with him. And Adam had the sound of the footsteps of God. Adam in the garden was barefoot. He didn't have any feet. Uh, he didn't have any. So he did have foot. Eh? Yeah. <laughs> he didn't have any sandals. Hallelujah. He didn't have any sandals on his feet. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. He didn't have any sandals on his feet. And when God came down a second time to Moses on Mount Horeb, he told Moses, take the sandals off your feet because where you are standing is holy ground. Where you are standing is holy ground. Why did Moses have to take the sandals off his feet? Because the sandals represent the artificial things 
that we have on ourselves, we are not real. If you are walking bare feet, if you are walking without shoes, you are natural. You are just as you are, just like Adam was when he was put into the garden. You are in your natural state. God told Moses, take the sandals off your feet because where you are standing is holy ground. Where you are standing is holy ground. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I pray that we will take off you now all the artificial things and go back to the place of worship. Hallelujah. Just like it was in the days of the Garden of Eden. We shall take all the artificial things. We shall remove the sandals off our feet and come before God and worship and worship at his feet in the name of Jesus. And then in verse number 34, let us go back to our reading, Acts chapter 7 and verse number 34. What does the Bible say? The Bible says, I have seen, I have seen, I have seen the oppression of the children of Israel. I have heard their groundings. And now I have come down. I have come down just like he walked in the Garden of Eden in Genesis chapter 3 and verse 9. God says to Moses, I have come down once again because I have seen with my eyes the oppression, the oppression of the children of Israel in Egypt. I have heard the, the, the cries, their cries have come up to me, their groundings have come to me. And I have now come down. I have now come down. I have now come down to deliver them out of bondage. Praise be to God. Come, come now and let me send you to Pharaoh. Come now and let me send you to Pharaoh. Let us read verse number 35. Acts chapter 7, verse number 35. What does it say? The Bible said, These same Moses, these same Moses that they rejected, these same Moses that they said, who made you a ruler and a judge over us, these same Moses, hallelujah, these same Moses, he was now sent by God, hallelujah, to be the deliverer, to be their ruler in the name of Jesus. Moses, when, when he was in the wilderness, Moses was, when, was when, when, when he was in Midian, he was in a season for 40 years of quietness. He was in a season where he was a fugitive. But after the 40 years had expired, those who sought to kill him were all dead. After the 40 years have expired, what is your season? Hallelujah. Your season could be 40 days. Remember we said in Genesis chapter 1 and verse number 14 that the sun, the moon, and the stars, they will be for signs and season to separate the light from the day, uh, from darkness, to separate the day from the night. They will be for signs and season. What is your season? What is my season? What is your season? What is the season that the Lord is calling you out to step into? What is your season? Moses' season had come. The 40 years of being a fugitive had expired, according to the New King James Version. The 40 years had expired. That it was time for him to step into a new season. Hallelujah. Amen. This same Moses that they rejected, this same Moses that they rejected and said, who made you a ruler, who made you a judge over us, this same Moses, this same Caesar, this same Susan, this same Michael, this same Peter that they rejected, just put your name in there. If your name is Simon, say this same Simon, this same Josephine, whatever your name is, that they rejected, 
the same man is stepping into a new season of being a ruler, of being the deliverer in the name of Jesus. And then in verse number 36, as we conclude, the Bible says that Stephen says that he showed them signs and wonders in the land of Egypt. He showed them signs and wonders in the land of Egypt. And he brought them out. He brought them out after 40 years. After 40 years, he brought them out of the wilderness. Moses brought the children out of, out of the wilderness. After 40 years, he was the last one to die. After that generation was swept, the generation of unbelief. After 40 years, Moses brought them out of the wilderness. Amen. May the Lord bring you out. May the Lord bring you out. May you step into a new season. Acts chapter 7 and verse 36. He brought them out. He brought them out after 40 years. After 40 years. With signs and wonders. Hallelujah. He brought them out. Hallelujah. We bless the Lord. We exalt the name of the Lord. We say let the name of the Lord be exalted. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let me say goodbye. And encourage you to subscribe if you haven't done that share this video well with your friends praise the Lord comment underneath here let us know that you have watched this video and we shall be on our knees praying for you and calling on the name of Jesus on your behalf the Lord bless you the Lord keep you the Lord make his face to shine upon you and give you peace in the name of Jesus bye bye we love you with the love of the Lord amen